Let's turn to the Niger Delta, where some top diplomats from the European Union have thrown their weight behind the federal government's moves towards tackling oil thefts in the region. This was made known to journalists after the uh, journalists after the envoy led by the Group Chief Executive Officer, Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Miliki Ari, conducted a tour of bunkering sites under destruction by the military joint task force in a the West local government area in River State. There is more in this report. The envoy from the European Union, alongside the Group Chief Executive Officer, Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, Melekiari, and embarking on destroyed bunkering sites in remote boundary communities between rivers and Bielsa states. The aim is to access the level of progress made by the federal government and the military in tackling oil theft and illegal refineries in the region. They joined the officer commanding Operation Delta Safe on a fact-finding visit to Ahoda West Council area, where a recent destroyed bunkering site is located. The visitors are amazed at the sophistication of the illegal industry and reiterated their support to help Nigeria in tackling issues of oil theft and illegal refineries in the oil-rich region. Clearly some of this production is used for local markets, some of this is going into international markets, which is clearly a problem, and we'll be discussing with the Nigerian authorities to find the best and the most appropriate response to tackle the problem. And I really want to thank the Nigerian army and navy for the tremendous work that's being done to restore the confidence in the Nigerian oil and gas uh, sector. We are here with our uh, development partners to see how much work is going on, how we can also be of assistance and support to this endeavor so that ultimately we can restore sanity in this environment, we can restore oil production in our country, and more than anything else, restore energy security for everyone. Our partners in, in this business will see the efforts that are being made and that we are very confident that we will contain this situation for the benefit of all of us. The commitment of the Joint Tax Force to continue their crackdown on all illegal refineries are also highlighted by the officer commanding Operation Delta Safe, Rear Admiral Aminu Hassan. And see what we are doing here. Uh, mechanically, we are destroying these items with all these machines because uh, they are very fast in constructing distance. So if you really want to succeed, you have to be faster than them. You have to work ahead of them. To a greater extent, we are getting support from the communities. And I want to use the op this opportunity to urge them to please continue. With the challenges posed by the Russian-Ukraine war on the oil and gas industry in Europe, it is believed the move by the bloc is to foster peace and sustainability in the Niger Delta region to increase productivity in the petroleum industry in Nigeria. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Ahuda.